Hello and welcome to Greeting Star. I'm so glad you could join me today. I have a beautiful bold card for you today and it's quite uh, exotic I think and you can see a look at it here. Um, I did decide to do a little bit of gold foiling on the top half of the card and you'll see that at the end of the video. So this card I'm making today comes from all of the supplies to make it except for some of the embellishments at the end of the video and uh, some of the tools I use to color these cute little birdies. All of it comes from the Spellbinders card kit of the month for February 2021 called Let Your Heart Soar. So I'm just going to be stamping these cute little birdies with some Ranger Archival ink and uh, the reason I'm using that is because it's it won't run if I use the uh, water-based markers. I'm going to be using some some real brush uh, markers by Zig called Clean Color and uh, I'm just trying to choose some colors that will match the uh, papers that come in the paper pack uh, from this kit and uh, that way the birdies will go really well with the whatever paper I choose from this pack. So I'm just looking at it and eyeballing it and seeing which ones I like better and for most of the colors that I want to use they match pretty good except for this green. I was having some trouble deciding which green to use so I just got a piece of paper out and decided to match it up that way. So that's always something you can do with whatever uh, markers or, or color whatever coloring medium you decide to use. So you can see the colors that I've chosen here and a little bit later on I do decide to pull out uh, a couple other colors but I am listing them here for you on the screen so you can see and originally I had I had wanted to use like a water brush but the I think this paper was really porous um, so it didn't work too well you can see here I'm trying to pull out some of that color so I'm just going in <clears throat> with um, the, the same color light violet and putting an extra layer down at the bottom so that that way it looks like uh, there's two different colors or two different shades. So this dark pink I'm doing at the bottom of the tail and then I'm going to come in with the lilac and I'll just uh, try to you know go over that uh, pink color with the lilac to try to blend it a little bit. <clears throat> and then I'm doing the same thing with her feathers that I did with her tail just to make her kind of match. I think she's kind of cute isn't she? <laughs> So anyway, then I'm going to come in with a different color. Here's where I decided I just need um, a different color. So I pull in a yellow green and I'm going to put that on the bottom right around the flower there. And I'm not mixing or doing any shading. I'm just, just coloring it just the way it is. <coughs> Excuse my voice today. I have a little bit of uh, congestion or something. So anyway, now I'm going in with the emerald green and since I'm only using this one green color, I just go ahead and like I said, I just put in uh, extra layers at the bottom to make it look like it's two when really it's only one. Now for the other bird, I'm using this light carmine and then I come in with a pale pink, which is one that I didn't originally pull out just because again, I'm trying to get a little bit of variation in color uh, to give it some interest. So now I'm going to come in with these uh, different purple hues. This is a deep violet and I, my opinion is when I was done that that was probably a little too dark, but I just went with it. You know, that's what we do when we're crafting sometimes. We're not, I'm not an expert at coloring, but I, I do love creating. So I just um, have fun with it. You know, that's the way you learn and that's the way that you um, get better at what you're doing. So I encourage you not to be, to be fearless, be fearless and enjoy what you're doing and have fun with it. Um, you'll really get a lot out of it. And, uh, the whole point of it is to, uh, to have fun anyway, and to pass that on to someone else. So I hope that's what I can do for you. And I hope that's what you'll do for someone else. Okay. So I'm just continuing to color and, uh, just based on how I think it looks, I might, I might go back over and try to, um, you know, change something a little bit. So for the head on this bird, I'm just using lilac. And again, um, since I wanted some variation, I just keep going over it until I feel like I have some darker tones at the bottom. Now again, that's a trick you can do with any of your uh, coloring tools that you have. Now for this little heart garland, which I think is so cute, I'm going to use the dark pink. And I was planning on doing the, the violets, the purples, but I chose only to use one and then to go back in with that um, 
that light carmine so that the heart garland would sort of reflect the colors on all, both of those birds. So now I want their party hats to be gold. So I chose this Uniball Signal gel pen, but it looks, it kind of looks more orange to my eye. And uh, that was in real life too. That's not just the camera causing it to look like that. So <clears throat> something you could use instead is maybe um, like a glitter gel pen that's more of a yellow gold. It's up to you though. So this pen here is a Sakura glaze pen and I just wanted to go over the bird's eyes because once you color over them it kind of fades them out. So now I'm ready to cut the paper that I'm going to have on my card and I just wanted to trim these down. This is an A2 size card so that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I decided to use this Avriel die to uh, put like kind of an interesting wave um, and I'm going to use this beautiful green and gold for the bottom sort of like you know grass or something like that on the bottom and then on the top I'm going to use that really pretty um, exotic color bold uh, pattern um, the only thing is I don't know why I turned it around upside down I don't know what I was thinking <laughs> now this would be pretty too do you see this with the top and the bottom you could certainly leave the card like that but I had wanted to use that third piece of paper for a place for the birds to stand since the birds are so colorful I felt that they needed kind of um, more of a neutral area so that they would stand out I didn't want them to get I didn't want it to clash with the other bold bright um, you know busy pattern and colors on this card so uh, they're not actually the the colors aren't really very bright they're they're you know somewhat of a pastelish color um, but the birds are very bold and I wanted to make sure that they stood out so um, one of the things I'm doing now is I'm trying to decide whether I want that pattern on that black and white paper for those lines to be horizontal or vertical. So I decided to, to, you know, I needed to cut out the bird so that I could see how I liked it. Do I like those going vertical or do I like them going horizontal? And um, I finally ended up having them, I think I it's gonna go vertical. So now I'm just using some of this uh, tape and this tape did come in the kit and I'm just laying this down. And since this is gonna be the first piece on my card, I wanna make sure that the, that tape goes all the way to the edges. So I did overlap it the first time that I laid it down because that first strip didn't get completely all the way to the end. So now I'm gonna do the same thing with these other pieces. Now, since this is curved, I can't put one full straight line. So I did, um, I ended up putting uh, five pieces of tape down so that that way I could curve it. And you'll see the same thing on this card. There's a little piece and another little piece right there just so that that tape will curve and I can um, allow it to go all the way around the edges there that will allow the paper to stay on the card and not have any areas that that raise up or come apart from the card so this um puffy foam adhesive also comes in the kit so again this kit is really a great value i keep saying that because it truly is and i'm going to use the little extra pieces so don't throw away those extra pieces once you pop out the dots um, i use those for the little uh, party hats and now i'm gonna stamp my uh, greeting here this is a really cute greeting it says um, I always forget what it says a little birdie told me it's your birthday I think that's what it says so I'm using some VersaFine ink this is some really um, juicy ink and it always does a great job of stamping your fine details especially like words especially little words and things like that and I love that stamping tool that's my um, we are Memory Keepers Precision Press. It's the first one that they came out with and I really love it. And you could see there that when I first stamped it, some of the word didn't get quite uh, stamped. So I just was able to redo it and I didn't have to worry about placement. It came out beautiful. So that's one of the reasons to have a stamping platform because sometimes when you stamp things, some of the areas don't get stamped and then you end up having to try to align it and sometimes you get blurry images because you don't align it properly so that's really nice it's a wonderful tool to have and i'm just going to use some more of this uh, foam adhesive to pop the greeting up so they're on the same level as the birds and i like to put those little fishtails in that adds another layer of interest and this little banner is just too cute. I can't leave it off the card. You could. You could be done right there. You don't need to add anything else. But I wanted to go ahead and cut this out and add it somewhere on the card because it's just so adorable. I just love it so much. I love heart banners. I really love banners. <laughs> 
So um, if you don't love them, you don't have to use them. So now I'm just using some of my Tombow Mono Glue, it's liquid adhesive, to put that on the front of the card. And then you do want to let that dry. And now I'm going to choose some of the words and all of these die shapes that you see here, the words and the images, they also come in the kit. And I just am trying to choose words that go uh, well with like a birthday greeting or sentiment. So I, you know, I always get those two confused, sentiments and greetings. Which one is it? <laughs> I think the greetings are supposed to go on the front of the card and the sentiments are supposed to go on the inside. So anyway, I'm going to stamp the uh, sending you and I'll adhere the other uh, pieces to the card in a moment. So uh, this is a, uh, was a fun card to make. I didn't uh, have it exactly uh, planned out. I just kind of had an idea in my head of what I wanted to do and then I played around with it. And you know, that's the fun part, guys. I think that when you take the time to play around, you learn a lot. Um, it does take time, but it's worth it because you learn so much. Now, these words I wanted to say, sending you happiness for a beautiful day. And for a was not in the card kit, so I just uh, used a, a, a lettering pin from Kelly Creates. And what you're doing with that is, if you're familiar with hand lettering, when you're going on the upstroke, you, you are very light on your pressure. And then on the downstrokes, you put a lot of pressure. So you press down on the downstrokes, and that'll give you that um, pretty hand lettering. Um, so now uh, you could, like I said, you could be completely done with the card. You don't have to do this step. This is optional. I'm using supplies from my own, um, you know, my own supplies. These didn't come in the kit. This is a Tombow Mono glue pin, and I'm just tracing the lines and uh, the centers of the flowers. Uh, little dots, little lines that I see on the top of the card. And what my goal here was to make some of that shine from the bottom sort of be reflected in the top of the card and try to tie in these two very busy patterns that are they're kind of different and in a way they don't really go together, but I think that they look kind of neat and unique. So I wanted to use them together. So leave me a comment down below and tell me whether you like it or not and what you like about it or what you don't like about it. So anyway, I'm just using this gold foil that I have here and after that glue pen dried, I just used um, a scraper tool to kind of rub against that gold foil to put that on the top. So again, if you don't like that, you could leave it plain like you see here. It's entirely up to you. And I hope you had fun today. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.